Aside from our previous videos, there's still some information you need to know about Eastern Cottontail. Indoor versus Outdoor Cage Rabbits that live indoors have longer lives and are more social and happy. You can easily take one from their cage and pet them or play with them, which is very important in caring for any type of rabbit. On the other hand, rabbits that live outdoors are usually skittish and may not be bonded with their owners because you may rarely take them out of their cage to pet them. These rabbits are also vulnerable to weather changes, temperature extremes, mites, predators, fleas, and other complications. This is very important if you live in an environment with extreme climate changes or where it's too hot or too cold. If you want to keep your rabbits inside, but do not have enough space, you can prepare an outdoor cage to play and run around. Meanwhile, outdoor cages are the easiest to clean. An outdoor cage also gives your rabbits more room for playing and running around. Take note that, that the rabbit cage should be kept away from direct sunlight and areas with high moisture. The cage should also be well protected from predators, including other pets such as cats and dogs. You can't check on your pets as much as you can outdoors, but they will have a lot of space that mimics their natural environment. Health Concerns Eastern Cottontails are very hardy rabbit breeds, but these are not immune to common rabbit diseases as well. With this in mind, you must always be mindful of your rabbit's state of health and overall temperament and behavior. Any change could be possible signs of illnesses. They should also receive standard vaccinations. A vet can help you with your rabbit's vaccinations. Some rabbit breeds have sensitive digestive systems and may be more prone to different health issues that plague the gut. You must have your rabbits checked against enteritis, bloat, and gut stasis, especially in rabbits that are less than 8 weeks old. Check for ear or fur parasites like mites, fleas, and ticks. This is often a result of poor hygiene, poor husbandry, and lack of animal management. Also, be very wary of ill health signs like poor appetite for eating or drinking, nasal and eye discharges, diarrhea, and vomiting. An unsteady gait, restlessness, grating of the teeth, and sleepiness must also be checked at once. Deworming is also recommended for eastern cottontails. This is a major concern in all rabbit breeds and needs to be completed in the spring and fall. You can use a pea-sized amount of deworming paste and put it in the rabbit's mouth. You may consult a vet for the best deworming product. Grooming Eastern Cottontails have short fur but will also need regular grooming to keep their coats clean, shiny, and perfect. You must groom it with a small brush at least once a week. You may even do it more when they are in their molting period, to prevent wool blocks and fur ingestion. Because rabbits usually self-groom, they can lick the fur and ingest it. Fur can accumulate in the digestive tract causing blockage and other complications. And even if your rabbit is very dirty, you should never give it a bath because this can stress them. You can use a damp towel to spot clean them. Just wipe the rabbit down with a towel and use a dry one to dry off their fur. Trim their nails every month and check for overgrown teeth. If you don't have a trimmer at home, ask the vet to do this for you. Your vet may also check and clean the large rabbit ears. Breeding Eastern Cottontails should be at least 6 months or older before they can start breeding. The bucks can be younger, but it's best to wait until 6 months. For male rabbits, make sure that their testicles have dropped before they are able to breed. The gestation period of a rabbit is usually 28 to 33 days, while most of the females deliver their babies on day 30 to 31. Before starting to breed Eastern Cottontails, choose a date that you want for birth. This is important so that you can be at home to provide the doe her nesting area. You must plan ahead to ensure that you will be present for two months when the babies need to be with their mother and to avoid any problems before the babies are weaned. Rabbits may conceive and give birth at any time of the year, so consider the perfect time for your pet to do so. During the hot summer months, the babies can make the mother uncomfortable, but during winter time, it's too cold for the babies who are usually born hairless. Remember that if the mother does not do well, the mother and her babies could all die. Therefore, spring and autumn are the best times to get pregnant. Availability. The cost of purchasing an Eastern Cottontail depends on whether you are getting it from a breeder or a retailer. Price may also depend on whether you are getting a rabbit to be used for a show, or as a pet. When looking for a reliable breeder, it is very important to make sure that you are getting a rabbit that is healthy and not one with genetic disorders like hook spines or malocclusion. You must buy only from reliable breeders who will breed these traits selectively. And if you want your rabbit for a show, you would also want to have a purebred specimen with no genetic disorders. Just like other breeds, Eastern Cottontails love chewing on things. They can chew on wooden furniture, and even electrical wiring. To avoid these mishaps and potential accidents, give your pet hay or chew toys aside from their food. Also, make sure that everything that goes to their mouth has not been sprayed with herbicide or pesticides. 
Younger rabbits may need alfalfa hay since this is rich in calcium, which is needed for growing bones. The adult cottontails love legume hay. Be careful about giving just any yard clippings to your rabbits. Just like any rabbit, cottontails should be kept in pairs for the reason of companionship. Experts say that being with another rabbit contributes to the happiness of the rabbit and may help the rabbit live longer. In the wild, cottontails are extremely social, so you must mimic this in a captive environment. You can't tame a wild eastern cottontail rabbit because it is naturally cautious will resist human contact. You can tame captive bred eastern cottontail rabbits, though, because these are just like any other domesticated rabbit. An eastern cottontail rabbit will likely run away from a threat and will not take it head on and bite it. It will also likely jump away because it can jump many feet in the air to escape predators in the wild. In some places, this rabbit is considered illegal to own or keep an eastern cottontail rabbit at home while some permit it because it is considered the game. If you don't know the regulations in your area, consult a local animal bureau in your area. These cannot be tamed and thus will never become good pets. The only captive bred specimens will make excellent pets for families. An eastern cottontail rabbit is generally afraid of almost anything. It can run at the first sign of a threat and will remain still to trick the threat. It is not really afraid of people, but it perceives something different like people. It will quickly run away. An eastern cottontail can run up to 15 miles an hour. It can outrun many animal predators, and because of its ability to lose its predator, it can evade hunters year after year. Rabbits like the eastern cottontail rabbit burrow into the ground where it can remain hidden from the predator, where it can sleep, and where it can lay its young. You can find eastern cottontail rabbits in the wild near forests, meadows, and clearings for as long as there is a certain amount of cover it can use to deter predators. The eastern cottontail rabbit usually uses the nest of other burrowing creatures, but it may also make her own burrow to lay eggs and line it with fur and grass. Yes, this breed will mate at any time, and this will result in an overpopulation of eastern cottontail rabbits in an area. This is why you must control the population by spaying or neutering. It will breed up to many times a year, and a single female may have more than 30 young rabbits in a year. There are no records of female eastern cottontail rabbits eating their young, but if you spot this, don't panic. Just remove the female from the nest. The eastern cottontail is not good parents because these will leave their nests alone and vulnerable. It has been observed that the eastern cottontail rabbit will abandon its nest long before the babies leave their nests. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.